Welcome back to Free Play. This is a series where I take a free to play game and determine if it's pay to win, fun to play, takes ages to do anything, grindy as all hell. You know, the standard tropes within the free to play market is the microtransactions reasonable and so on. So, this is the newest game in the showcase. This is Neverwinter, it's a Dungeons and Dragons based game. And it's an MMO. It came out in 2013, so it is about four years old. Their last update was about four, four or five days ago. So it is still updated. They've had several expansions, and we'll see how we go. This is made by the same guys that did Star Trek Online, so I suspect there's going to be different things. So... Let's see our races. So we've human, which high defenses, any ability score is plus two. Gain additional heroic feat point at 10, 15, and 20. Now you can buy Dragonborn, Metallic Ancestry Dragonborn, and the Moon Elves. They're all paid, as well as the Renegade. Which, okay, so you got half orc. Critical strike. Critical severity is 5% higher than other races, causing you to deal more damage when you deal with crit critical strikes. Okay, grant you two decks and either two con or two strength. Okay, and you get swift charge, which is a thing. Wood elf, critical chance is higher. Grant you decks and either intelligence or wisdom, and you have. 10% resistance to slow effects, okay. Sun Elf. That just looks weird. I'm not gonna choose them. So you have Inner Peace and Serenity allowing you to focus more on the task at hand, allowing your action point gain is 2% higher than other races. You gain intelligence and either dex or charisma, and you get to increase your resistance to control effects. You got Dwarves. Increase resistance to knock and push, okay. Constitution, either strength or wisdom. And damage resistance to damage over time. Cool. So another control resistor. Dex with charisma and constitution. And deflection chance, okay. Then you have halfling. Grants plus one to non-class ability score. Spends are automatically determined by your class. Grants constitution either charisma or wisdom, and you have a na you are naturally better at many facets of life. Your deflection chance. Cr oh, okay, interesting. T fleeing. You deal an additional five percent damage to targets below half health. Nice ability score. So you get two charisma, and you either get two to con or intelligence. When you receive damage, you have a ten percent chance to apply infernal wrath to your attack for Effect rate reduces the target's power by 5%. Nice. And then you have the Drow. Dark Elves. Descendants of the Dark Elves, actually. Ah, uh, so Dark Fire, you have 5% chance to apply Dark Fire. This effect reduces the target's defenses. You have Dex, and you, you either choose between Charisma or Wisdom. And you recover campfires things. You know what? I think I'm going to go Tiefling. We're gonna go male. Okay, so charisma. And we get to choose between constitution or intelligence. Okay, so devoted cleric, trickster, rogue, hunter, ranger. Scourge Warlock. Unless you want to deal damage, you're tougher than other Warlocks, and you've got powers to help you attack and defend in melee, as well as excellent ranged combat. Oh, I like that. So it's either, I'm, either I want to go like a magey type class. So control wizards harness the arcane energies, restrict, crush, and debilitate no Warlock. So we get the curse. Increases the damage they receive by 20%. You may place your up to th on up to on up to three different targets, but the damage bonus will be divided between them. Okay. 
Vampiric Embrace, rip the life essence from target, dealing damage and converting 70% of it into hit points. Nice. Uh, brood, you overwhelm your target with shadows, holding them in place. Nice. And Arcana, you collect magic items to sell and you can interact with arcane objects. These interactions often give you a bonus to combat skills. I like the idea of this warlock. The Tiefling Warlock. Yes, we'll go with that. Um, uh, your primary ability is charisma, your second ability is a constitution intelligence. So we... Ooh. So we got a high charisma. And if we go with this... Ooh, okay. Can we re-roll? How many re-rolls do we have? I do like this really high 19 score. Your base stat is 17, but you have chosen a 2 plus 2, which you give you a total of 19. Give us more life, which... You know what? We're going to go with intelligence. I, I like this. But do we re-roll? Yeah, no, I'm not going to re-roll. We'll leave it as it is. Appearance. What type of horns do I want? No. Oh. No. This one's cool. That's cool. You know, customize. Can we zoom in? We can zoom in. Welcome back to Free Play. This is a series where I take a free to play game and determine if it's pay to win. Fun to play. Takes ages to do anything. Grindy is all hell. You know the standard tropes within the free-to-play market. Is the microtransactions reasonable and so on. So this is the newest game in the showcase. This is Neverwinter. It's a Dungeons and Dragons based game. And it's an MMO. It came out in 2013. So it is about four years old. Their last update was about four... Four or five days ago. So it is still updated they've had several expansions and we'll see how we go this is made by the same guys that did Star Trek online so I suspect there's going to be different things so short ponytail no shaved thin no I hate how this. See, long braids, short flared, short braids, long braids. Looks like it works. Yeah. Go. I want to go reddish. This is. Ooh, I like that. We'll go with that. Eyes. Glowing. Blind in both. Glowing. Okay, eyebrows, you cannot... Okay, you cannot have facial hair. Horns.
Oh. Okay, that's fine. Uh, tattoos. You know, we'll go with dark eyes. We will we'll go black. Scars. You know, we'll go eye right. I like that. We're not going to change that. Two fling turn, two fling. Nah, we'll, we'll leave that. We'll leave that. And we'll hit continue. I like this character. Um, okay, so character origins. The Underdark Exile. Ooh. Uh, under. Okay. You know, yeah, we'll. You find loaders of your people in the North Dirk have been banished. You traverse the hidden pass leading between the wicked and mysterious ruins. Or escape so you survived and escaped one of the infamous slave pits of the North Dark Seeking Sanctuary in the surface. Oh. Um What's over here? Blocky Pirate. Escape to the Wheeloon. River opportunist. You know, we'll go north dark, we'll go with the escaped slave. I like that storyline. Um, is a god of the sun and time is true to teach you that he that he has died and been reborn time and time again. He's reared, reared by farmers, merchants, and nomads who follow the seasons. This year of interactions the she draws wishes from all who depend on the land. No. Okay. This one's an option. Uh, it's worshipped by the elves and the half elves, so we're not going to bother. Soul Forger is stern, stubborn, and I'm becoming and brave in the defense. It's the the dwarves, okay? Dwarves. Binders served to all who seek knowledge, including bars, bards, wall keepers, and so on. Ogma is also an option. Though I like the undead one. Battles the darkness of a sister, Shah. Do we get to choose that? No. Uh, governs the ebb and flow of tides and comforts of the world with a super glow. The rank systems for include Marinus and no. Sylvanus, uh, tree father, lord of nature. Soon. Humans, no. Okay, is there anything that we. Warriors, Tom is for paladins. It's got a fortune. Would it be good luck to escape? Because that could be interesting, but no, we're going to go with the undead. Yeah, I think that will work. So. Yeah, Gormagon, so we're a Scourge Warlock. We are a Tiefling. We have... Decent Charisma. So those are going to help, it's going to help us out a lot. And then... We will um, up int and con whenever we need to. So we are an escaped slave from the North Dark, and we are a believer of Kalimvor. I am a Kalim Kalim Knight. Okay, I just like the whole notion of a warlock being against necromancy type thing. It's unnatural. And the minds dictated that with that thing, a lot of people died and you just have to be thing. And this is the first episode, it's all about character creation. Holy crap.
<laughs> so, we are level one. We begin our adventure. So we'll load in, and then I'll stop the episode. But do note that I am recording four episodes, and I'll be, probably have all eight episodes recorded by the end of the week. Well, we gotta. Uh oh. Allow access. Sorry about this. Right? There you go. Move around using the W A S T keys. Okay. So this is actually going to be the end of the episode. I hope you guys are enjoying it. If you are, let me know down in the comments below if you think I made the right decisions with my character. Anyway. Hit the subscribe button if you want to see more of this. I hope you're having... I uh, hope you had a decent Christmas. It wasn't too bad. You know, family gatherings can be bad. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time.